Hey everybody, today I'm going to be pouring concentrated hydrochloric acid on my car. In order to give my car the best chance for survival, I'm going to be coating it with Avalon King's Armor Shield ceramic coating. So first I'll try the hydrochloric acid on the car, and then I'm also going to try sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a lot more intense of a reaction because it actually seeks out anything containing carbon and hydrolyzes it. What I'm going to be using today is called Armor Shield 9. It's a nano ceramic coating. The ceramic coating is really cool because it creates a surface that's chemically bonded to the surface of your car, but the top of it is hydrophobic and very hard. And because of the hydrophobicity of the ceramic coating, what that means is that when you get mud and stuff on it, it's more likely to just roll off than stick to it. To show you what I mean, what I did is I took only a half of my car and on the right side of it I coated with the ceramic coating and on the left side I left it as normal so it just has the clear coat on it. So this is the side that wasn't treated and this is the side that was treated. The only difference here is the mud up top here just it's too flat so it can't flow off. If you tilted it a little bit it would just roll right off whereas this side the mud just sticks to it. <laughs> But if you just take a hose and spray it, you can see how much easier it is to spray off the mud with the ceramic coating versus the normal clear coat of the car. But I wanted to see how it held up against acidic things because whenever I park my car in my driveway, I happen to have a power line right above it and birds always sit there and poop on my car. And I noticed with the ceramic coating, the bird poop can just sit on there and it wipes right off. I'm going to be wearing a mask during this because hydrochloric acid off gases hydrogen chloride. So it's this, so you can see this white mist that comes off it and if you breathe it, you're basically breathing in acid into your lungs. Okay, three, two, one. Oh man, sure hope this holds up. Oh, look at it smoking. Okay, let's wash it off and see the damage. Okay, it still looks hydrophobic, so that's good news. The water's just melting right off it. Okay, there's no visible damage I can see. Looks like the hydrophobicity is still intact. There's no damage to the paint or anything. So it looks like the ceramic coating was able to hold up against concentrated hydrochloric acid. Now I don't recommend anybody putting concentrated acid on your car after you put a ceramic coating on. But it is nice to know if you get something acidic on your car for a short time, it'll just wipe right off. So we weren't able to destroy the paint with hydrochloric acid, but if we use a different type of acid, we should be able to destroy it. For example, if we use sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid can react with things that contain carbon. And although the main background of these ceramic coatings are silicon based, there still is carbon in it. Now what sulfuric acid does is it hydrolyzes anything that contains carbon. So basically it removes a water molecule from it and leaves a leftover carbon ash. So you can see with this toilet paper here, it's this dark black ash that basically looks like we burned it. All right, so this side of the panel has been treated with paint and then a layer of clear coat. And so this is what your car normally would be like. There's a layer of clear coat on the top that protects it. But let's see if it can actually protect it against sulfuric acid. So this would be one amazing bird poop if it pooped on your car with this type of acid. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, it looks normal at first. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's eaten right into it. That does not look good for the paint. Okay, let's spray off this sulfuric acid and see what the panel looks like. Oh man, <laughs> I could just wipe it right off. <laughs> 
So you can see it's completely eaten into the clear coat here. It's made it all cloudy, but then on the part where it sat the longest, it just ate right through it, right down to the metal underneath. So needless to say, sulfuric acid will very easily eat through everything on your car down to the metal. <laughs> but the reason the sulfuric acid was able to get through this paint so easily is because like I said, it reacts with things with carbon in it. And the paint and the clear coat on top of it are both made out of carbon. Now we're gonna try the side that's been treated with the ceramic coating. Okay, let's wash off this side. You can see that when we compare the two, the one with the ceramic coating still held up better than the one with just the clear coat. The clear coat got completely eaten away down even through the paint. The ceramic coating one almost got through the paint. It looks like it was able to get through some of the clear coat and some of the ceramic paint, but it didn't get through the actual paint job. That's probably because with the ceramic coating on top, it gave it another layer, and there wasn't as many carbon groups to react with the sulfuric acid as there was with just the clear coat. So this kit contains everything you need to achieve that professional finish that would normally cost you in around $1,000. So this saves you hundreds of dollars by using their kit. It's really easy to apply. It's specifically designed for hobbyists and car enthusiasts, but it's trusted by professionals too. So you can protect your car from all sorts of dirt and weather elements for two to five years after you apply it. It's guaranteed within the first two years. So you can cover all hard surface of your vehicle, including windows, lights, plastics, and chrome. So the liquid utilizes nanotechnology to seal all surfaces and pores. So this ceramic coating is kind of like wax on steroids. It gives your car a glass-like shine with a hydrophobic surface, and it makes it super easy to clean and maintain. So how does this nano ceramic coating work? The main component and backbone of the ceramic coating comes from the specific resin that's used. Typical resins that are used are called polydimethyl siloxanes, or PDMS. This coating is great because it's inert, it's non-toxic, it's UV stable and thermally stable. And the best thing about it is it's hydrophobic as well. But resins like this PDMS don't stick very well to the surface of the car. So typically you have to add more silicon groups to it that will bond it to the surface of the car, called silanes. And these silane groups actually chemically bond to the surface of your car. So it creates actually a covalent bond to the top clear coat of your car. Now, if you wanna try the ceramic coating, I'll put a link in the description where you can get $25 off the product. So click on this link and type in code AL25 and you'll get $25 off. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.